You want to hear this crazy thing? I did a, a reading one time. I actually paid for a professional astrological consultation. And at the time, for the entirety of the Obama administration, I couldn't get a copy of my long-form birth certificate. And when I talked to my mother right after his ass got elected, she gave me a contrary time of date of birth. And I said, Mom, I don't think that sounds right. You know, based on what you told me about my sister's birth. She's like, no, 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 that's when you were born. And am I going to argue with my mother? Don't you think a mother would remember the time of day that her kids were born, especially her eldest? You don't think they would remember? It must have been me. I must have been the one that forgot something, even though I knew sometimes my mom would say things that weren't completely accurate. How, the mother doesn't forget the time you're born. Especially if they have access to your original birth certificate, right? Of course, you know, when I got my birth, my long for a birth certificate in 2018, I, I realized, oh, well, I was right. And I was born at a different time. But for, what, 10 years? For 10 years, I understood I had a different birth time. And according to that birth time and the date of my birth, I did an astrological reading. And that astrological reading, the, the person who did the reading, not so ironically, she was in Hawaii. And I didn't think that was a problem. I didn't have any problem with her. Actually, it was very appreciative. I thought she did a very good job. I was very uh, happy to be able to, to get that reading from her, professional astrological consultation. And she told me two things that I remember very significantly. One, she said that I have a lot of karma with the Catholic Church in my birth chart. It might well be the case. She also pointed out, and we kind of uh, touched upon the understanding that I had a opposition that made my marriage partner or put my marriage partner in the house of the government. My husband was the government. My spouse was the government. And what did the government do to me for the last 25 fucking years? That's what is so completely insulting about this. You tortured my mother so that by the time I was 19, my mother forgot all the memories she had of me. And when I did try to talk to my mother right after an election, that was very, very fraught with significant things going on, karmically, astrologically, personally. My mother understood the wrong time of day, it was very insistent that I was born at the time my sister was born. And so for 10 years, my chart, my house got put upside down. And the problem is, is that in the last four years, nobody's wanted to admit that. And so I was married to who? Barack Obama? Did you strategically fucking code it? That I would have a bond as a part of an interracial marriage and have 25 years of exile so that I could be the maligned wife of Barack Obama. No! Wait! He was just borrowing the book from the first black president, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Barack Obama wasn't the first black president, remember? When you let Kenneth Starr do what he did without prosecuting that pervert, what you also did is encoded the legacy of black leadership with his perversion, and it was strategic, including his child brides that apparently were supposed to be chastised for up to 25 years of their interracial marriage. Just so you know. No, I'm not fucking accepting that, and I'm sure as fuck not gonna let you sign up other little girls and boys to be child married off the perverts you didn't prosecute because you were too addicted to drugs. Or the lure and mystique of whatever passes as a culture when narcos are able to infiltrate the fucking government. Wake up. They were CIA plants conspiring to undermine the goddamn fucking country by luring us with drugs. I'm pretty sure that they identified specific pretty little girls to sell to that piece of shit after they set up that youth trust for a drug-free America. And they took all their coke deals 
and all their promises of all the drugs they were going to help deliver later on, including in the form of pharmaceuticals. So those guys would have some legit fronts for their illicit trade, at least until they got the fucking laws changed and made other shit black market. Like, I don't know. Digital currency for political dissenters that aren't allowed to have a fucking identity or a goddamn conversation? Because we're married. We're their first ladies. Boys and girls. 25 years later, we're all grown up. 30 years later, we're all grown up. I'm married to the president. He was never a president. They were not presidents. They were not leaders. They were traitors. I've proven it. And now we're going to have to deal with the consequences because my divorce is confirmed.